Now we have talked about motors before. We said that when you have a three-phase motor, you have your motor like this, you're going to have L1 that feeds power to it, L2 that feeds power to it, and then L3. So now this is going to be a three-phase motor. Inside of the motor, what is it that we have? Well, we're going to have one, two, three sets of windings like this. And these power supplies, L1, L2, and L3, they're going to feed each one of these. In a motor, what happens is you, most of the time, they're either going to be wired as Y or Delta configuration. Most of what we see out in the field, they're going to be Y configuration like this. So this is where you would hook up your L1 to T1, L2 to T2, and L3 to T3. What happens with this is now we have a rotating magnetic field. At the generator, at the generator, the magnet is rotating. It's inducing a magnetic field onto each one of the coils. First one, then two, and then on the third one. Same thing happens in a motor. It's going to rotate from this one to this one to this one, and then back again like this. Now typically on these, what happens is we have the power supplies like this, and then we have, let's say for example, I'm going to, let's, let's go to this. What is this symbol right here? The symbol is pretty much the same as this right here, which happens to be the symbol for a fuse. If your fuse blows, what happens is, let's say for example, this one right here, that fuse blows, so now this one is not working anymore. You only have power going in on T3 and T2, or in other words, L2 and L3. Then this coil right here is not doing anything, which means that this one here has basically stopped working. When that happens, your rotor is going to be inside of here. Your rotor is here, and your rotor is going to try to rotate. Now if this motor has been running and we break the fuse or the fuse blows right here and we're not feeding power to this then that the momentum is going to keep it going because these two are doing the work of three of course your amperage is going to go up because they're doing more work the motor slows down a little bit. But if the motor has completely stopped, the motor's not rotating, what's going to happen is between these two, it's going to lock that rotor up. That rotor is not going to take off because this is inducing a magnetic field onto this one and this one onto this side here, and that rotor is going to lock up. You don't, they don't have the third one to keep it going. So now the magnetic field is just switching between these two that rotor locks up. That's why when you have, let's say for example, a chill water pump. You have a chill water pump and one of the fuses blows, it won't start up. But if it's running and one of the fuses blows, then it's going to keep going, it's going to keep running, but the amperage is going to be higher. Now remember, on a previous video we talked about this here. We said that as your amperage as the motor runs, your amperage is going to come up, and this is what they call the inrush current. It's going to draw inrush current. As the rotor rotates and it speeds up, then this is going to drop, and then eventually, yes, it's going to be right here, and this is going to be what they call your running load amps. Your running load amps, and that's what we want. When this one winding is not doing any work, whether it, whether it is because it is open here, or we have a bad fuse, or we lost the leg somewhere, your amperage is going to be higher. That's going to create a problem because this heat is going to affect the windings. So now, again, let me, let's go over this real quick. We're, on a three-phase motor, we're supposed to have three windings. The magnetic field will be rotating. If for some reason we have one coil that's not doing any work, 
whether it's because we blew a fuse or you have an open winding, you're going to have these two trying to do the work of that one. If the motor's already rotating, it's going to keep rotating, but your amperage is going to go up. And that's not good because it generates more heat. If the motor has stopped and one of the fuse has blown or one of the windings has opened up, then it's going to lock up and it's not going to be able to rotate. It can only take this amount of current for so long because the higher the amperage, the stronger the magnetic field and the more heat you're going to have. The more heat that you have, the higher the temperature is going to be, you're going to melt the windings and you're going to burn up your motor. So I was trying to explain to you what happens when you're single facing a motor. This is what they call single facing because you only have two hot legs. That would be a single face. If it's a three face motor, it's not going to work when you're trying to single face. And like I said, if it is running, it's going to keep running when you lose a leg, but it's not going to run for long because it's going to overheat and burn up. I hope this helped. My name is Julio, Aircon Academy. Please make sure that you follow me on Facebook and you subscribe to my page on uh, YouTube. Thank you. If you have any other questions or any other suggestions, videos that you'd like to see, please let me know. Thank you.